The Banner Saga. What the hell is this? Get out of there. Okay, The Banner Saga. So this one, I have seen a little bit of this one. The art style looks amazing. It's got a really kind of old schooly art style and all that. So let's get into it. Pretty much what I mostly know this one from is the... I think there was a lawsuit or whatever going on between them and Candy Crush Saga. Because of the word saga, which is completely stupid. Anyway, the gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survive through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge Deep into the northern wasteland. Destroyers called Dredge Deep into the northern wastes. Okay. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. Mm. Party's over. You've arrived just in time. The chieftain in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click the check mark to continue. Okay, I see. So basically the plot of this game is the sun has stopped in the sky and no one knows why and now there's a... Uh, now we're fighting. Uh, these ports would show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, enemies are red. It's your turn to act. Movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield... Shield banger. Okay. Blue tiles run in show where he can move. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four tiles while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact. Okay, click on the tile you want to move and click the check mark to confirm. Okay. Target the enemy. Bam. Choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers beneath each show the damage you will do to that stat. Alright, let's just straight up uh, ice this dude. Strength causes both health and damage. Loss of two strength means you'll now do two less damage. If strength falls to gear zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks damage but can be reduced. Breaking armor. You open them up to more damage in the future. A strength attack will kill him. Okay, click the fist. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. Bam! He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used to improve your characters. After taking an action to do... Alright. Despite being at full strength, the Chieftain will do little damage against your Shield Banger's high armor. Oh, uh, now it's your Warhawk. He used to be out of range. All characters can use Willpower to boost their action. Willpower is a limited resource to use it wisely. Uh, by clicking Gold Tile... Okay, Gold Tiles are where I'd have to go to use Willpower. Okay. Red pulsing to uh, red uh, pulsing tiles beneath your enemy show how close you will have to get to be in range. Move your warhawk to the red. Okay. Center attacks only affect a single item, but your warhawk has a special ability. Okay. Click to use. Okay, this is a whirlwind attack. It looks like. Okay. Select an enemy. Wham! Pillage. Alright, that made quick work of the Chieftain's bodyguards. One enemy left. Players enter pillage mode during pillage. Each character moves in order, and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check the initiative to see how order has changed. Your allies 
Now we get to move twice in a row. If a character does not move on his turn, he can rest. To regain one willpower, the chieftain will rest this turn. Okay, it looks like the chieftain is in the middle of some trouble. Your shield banner won't be able to finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Click the chieftain's tile to attack. Alright. Click on the fist and then the stars above the fist to add willpower. Number of stars, okay. Wait. The stars available each turn determine your exertion. You'll see damage number, okay. Alright. Now I will do nine, which is enough to kill this guy. Bam! Yeah! Renown me! This sort of wolf doesn't stop fighting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. That voice acting. I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Doppelar King's tithe. Only the sun has stopped. You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase. Irik, steward of Strand, I manage the governor's business. Ubin, is it? Uh, it is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. What did you have in mind? Scalf... Scalfings? That you didn't hack up in the Great Hall have scattered after you took out their chieftain. The governor just wants to make sure their stay down. I was hoping you'd join me in the marketplace by the docks. If there's anything left to worry about, if there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. Uh, alright. Visit the merchant. Alright, there's nothing else I can visit right now, so let's get on with it. Plot is happening. Let me handle this. You meander through the rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches at your approach. Had I'm not the only... Um, had I'm not in the mood today. For... for what? Talking to an idiot. The Skullfing's chieftain bled out an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, Nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk to... They don't talk to me. Mm, yeah, let's see if he needs some help. Had, I had a change of heart. I hope you would give us a heart. I hope you do give us a hard time. Had sweats visibly, fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah? Uh... Yeah, sure. You trust a silver... Trust a sliver of silver. Okay, those two words next to each other. On the table, both men look at you with surprise. Had gestures meekly to a variety of junk in front from his stall. Take whatever you like. Only thing that it, Only thing I'd like is the name of a place. Nobleman, up uh, by East Wall. That was months ago, last I know. Head skulks away with a wave of Eric's hand. Irik? Irik, whatever. Gathering things from his hovel, disappearing for a while until his... This blows over, you figure. Your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? That's not how you hold a sword. Gnolf, were you wearing green back at the hall? No, I just bought him while you were ta walking around. Why? You look like a frog. <laughs> Better than eggplant. <laughs> Goes off to look at more stalls. That man of yours seems unreliable at best. Did you see how he was holding his sword? The blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be a scalping. If they were licking their wounds, they're probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. Nobleman is a mead hall? Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these scowls in the ground. I'm going to go find him. I'll meet you there. Uh, shouldn't we have an approach? Sounds good. What a luxury, come on. You're already mopping up worse today. 
Come on, you've already okay, already mopped up. Just make sure the governor resemble, remembers his promise and double the usual tithe. I'll remind him. <sighs> okay. Where can we go now? Great! Supplies, options. Great app! Oh, this looks like it was probably made for a, uh, for a freaking mobile. Okay. It's in, uh, big bright letters. Let's go here. You arrive in front of what must be noblemen. A few minutes later, Irik appears with weather beaten men introduced as a Valgard. I'll point them out, Irik says over his shoulder. Ready? They're walking through the front door. They ran to a mead house, says Valgard. I'll be surprised if they can stand up straight right now. Okay, here we go. Valgard boots the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. It's a long way of saying that. As you enter the hall, Irik is already at the head of the table, his axe drawn, wide-eyed, drunken scowl things scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and mead steins in the process. Okay, doing this free form looks like this time. Do I click ready? Oh, okay, I suppose I have to uh, place these people in like a starting location first. Yeah, I suppose I'm ready. I was hoping for more of a fight than this. Okay, I can't get up to them yet. Where can these guys move? Okay, so if I just move this guy up two spaces. Okay, this guy can move up to like right here. Oh, okay, it's not his turn. Okay, I gotta end this guy's turn. Whoops. Okay, and this guy... I'll move up that far, so up three, and turn. Okay, I'm getting it. You frog! Okay. Alright, this guy should probably stay in front, because he's got the shield. Okay, this guy can't even get up to him. Alright, you... I could take a swing at him. Attack this guy. How much of an attack can this guy do to him? Alright, he's got an attack of... 12 right now. This guy's got an attack of 9. So if this guy can do 4, the other guy can definitely do more. Okay. Can these guys get up to him? Yeah, these guys can't get up to him. This guy's an idiot for walking up here. Bam! Okay. So this guy has got 6, so he's the, probably the weakest. Let's go, uh, ruin his day. Hmm. Okay, this guy's got uh, an attack of 6. What about this guy? Attack of 8. So it wouldn't do much better, so... We should... Crack his armor. Yeah, let's see what that does. Hmm! Okay, these guys don't do nearly as much as the giants. Go figure. That other guy moo or... Oh, I need to be, like, right in front of him. No! Okay, I gotta keep working on this guy. Where's Stonewall? Okay, now I can do some decent damage to him. No, dude! Don't die! Bam! Can't catch up to him. Can I hit both of them? This diagonal count? Shit, it does not. Okay, you gotta get out of there. Oh, crap. Come on. Yeah. Ice this dude. What is that? Shoot. No, don't. There, yeah. Go attack that guy. Hopefully those other two guys will... Jeez. Ur, that is not good. Time to start pillaging. Or is my guy permanent dead now? Defeat an enemy with a raid master, with a warhawk, with a warden. Iron is ready for promotion. Gunarth has been injured. 
Probably by his own sword, judging by how he holds it. There they are, guys be damned. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's windows onto the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of blood red and blues. One banner I know well. Volgnir, next for Val Kinship. Last we spoke, the other flag looks important. Yeah, important to guess. See what I deal with all day long? Ah, uh, things make a little more sense. You hope... You hoped I'd have a stake. Yeah. You hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here with the royal guests arriving. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure that there are no riding bodies or pools of entrails still in the great hall before they come by. Can I ask you for one more favor? What is it? If you happen to stall our guests down by on the deck, if you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgard hustle from the mead house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an you give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down by the docks. Okay, so this is a pretty, uh, kind of a linear, pretty neat uh, strategy-ish type game. I'm not sure if at some point I get to actually start recruiting my own people or whatnot. I did say that that one guy was ready for promotion. I'm not sure exactly what I do to do that, but anyway, moving on. This has been Banner Saga.